everybody and welcome back to the channel for another eventing vlog very quick concession to the last one isn't it Addy? yes we are off eventing again tomorrow we are this time going to morton which we have been no Addy has never been to morton in the past i have been to morton quite a few times it's relatively local should i say it's still about three and a half hours but we are doing it up and back in one day. I requested later times and they have sorted me out really, really well actually. I'm the second to last in my class, which means that my dressage isn't until half past 11, which is really nice. There is not a crazy early start tomorrow, but I mean, it's still early for a Sunday, let's be honest, but what eventing morning isn't early. So I have already, Everything has basically been done today. I've just got the final thing to do, which is to tackle this mane and put in some pretty plaits. And then last time, obviously, I popped her out with her Lycra ninja suit on and they stayed in. So fingers crossed for the same again this weekend. But everything is already packed up and loaded in my car, ready to go. Both of the horses have been ridden today. I took Addy up in my grass arena and just had a little final pop. I just wanted to put her over some bounces just to try and make her a little bit more snappy-fied. And I'll be honest, it wasn't the best of sessions. If, yeah, it wasn't great. It has been blowing a hoolie. It's been so, so windy and it's quite exposed to my grass arena. So it was just... Yeah, it wasn't great. Even the wings were like struggling to actually stay up. And yeah, anyway, it thankfully has died down now. And I have checked tomorrow. It's not looking as bad as it is today. So hopefully we won't have this wind or that wind whilst we are driving up tomorrow. But right, I thought last time I obviously showed you all like what I was packing and everything like that. But now I am going to plat. So I've already got my bag out um, with everything in it. It's a little bit of a mess actually, but get out the important clipping bits that I need. So I need scissors, I need that main comb, plaiting bands which are almost about to empty. And then we have got thread and I think I've already got a needle in here that's probably... Nope, there's no needle on that one. Um, I can find that in a minute. Oh, it's there. I can see it. Is it. I'm sure I have one. Anyway, yeah, I can get that out in a minute, but this is already good to go for tomorrow as well. Oh, I need some plaiting wax as well. Need that to go in. Um, but yeah, everything is in there ready to go for tomorrow. And like I said, everything else is all in my car, loaded up and ready. So I just sprayed you with some fly spray, hoping that'll keep the flies at bay. Hey, are you still a bit sleepy? We had a nice afternoon snooze. Yes. Mwah. Good girl. You're going to love it again tomorrow, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> right, let's uh, get on. And get you planted. I was just sleepy. It's a little bit of oh, is that the spot? <laughs> oh dear of you. Little bit of a disaster. Not a disaster. It's not actually because I have been able to rectify it. But I usually like to use. Um, I've actually got the smart grooming. It's like flat waxed thread. I just find like it helps pull it and keeps it a little bit tighter. Oh, I have just found another needle though, so that's good. Um, but I think we were rushing at Howick to do like the tail plait and everything. And I have no idea where my black thread went with it. So I'm back. Don't get me wrong. This is still perfectly usable, which actually I didn't think I had either. So I've just found that, which is making me very happy. But yeah, little bit of a panic for a minute. We are four, five plaits in. And now I'm going to start threading them up. I've started doing this for some reason. I plait a load and then I thread a load and then I plait and then I finish and like thread it. I don't know why. Are you done? Look at them. All done and now you can go out of your field. You've been like a little toddler, haven't you? He's like me, toddler. Yes, you have. <laughs> oh, blimey, that is bright. Good morning. It's a venting morning. Thankfully, I learned from my mistake last time. To be honest, I was made to learn from my mistake. So the ponies are actually just out in this field instead of being in 10 acres, where last time I didn't realise it would be quite so dark. And obviously, as you can see, it's pitch black at the moment. And when they were in 10 acres, I 
was up there in the pitch black and I really struggled to find them. I, I couldn't see them and I didn't, I wasn't prepared. I didn't have an equalizer. I didn't have anything. Um, and I don't even think I had my phone on me. So it was really like a case of squinting really hard to see. Yeah, hoping that all my carrots were paying off. But I've seen that they are just there, just behind the wood. Yeah, basically, just behind there. And um, so I've got to get them in. I'm going to plait Addie's forelock first, then give them their breakfast. Well, they can eat that whilst I hitch up. And that is all I have basically got to do this morning. And then I'm picking Chris up from home. Chiverton roundabout is closed. So I have to go down through Truro, which at this time in the morning isn't too much of a big deal. So that's fine. Um, I've brought Nala because we're having a proper family day out, aren't we? Yes, we are. You haven't been a venting. You haven't been a venting dog for a very long time. But you're coming along too. Yes, because you can pull Chris's arms off. I find if I give her to anybody else, I always feel a bit guilty because I know she'll just be pulling for me. Hi, Addy. Good morning. Hello. You okay? Oh, oh you've got mud on your neck, so how are the plaits? Hey, how are the plaits? Can we get you in? Where's Sprighty Woo? He's down there somewhere. Hello. Right, let's not mess around too much. Let's get them in and get this party started. mum's lane just giving chris a quick ring just to go here's your little reminder your gentle wake up if you're not already up hopefully you are he sounded quite mumbly but that doesn't necessarily mean he isn't up but we'll go up pick him up then go down through truro and then the plan is we are stopping fairly early because one of my bribes to chris was that i'd get him a mcdonald's breakfast breakfast of champions so we will be stopping at victoria because we have to go on the a303 there are no like i want to say proper services but there's no mcdonald's so we're going to do an early stop and then aim is just to travel straight there we are meeting amy and i'm not sure if her mum's coming again this week but they were there last week taking some photos she wants to walk the course with me and sort of like just learn about it really um i think she's been really enjoying coming along with carrie ann um obviously carrie ann isn't going today because it is her youngest birthday it's edward's birthday i've got to remember to message her happy birthday to edward so she isn't there today but she asked if she could tag along with us so we're meeting them at victoria and then they're going to follow us up but, right let's go see how awake christopher is arrived Addie's been given a drink and now straight out like I said we are on time but we're heading straight out onto the cross country so I'm just looking at the course map there we have got 21 efforts uh, it doesn't have the optimum time there so I'm hoping that's online 
but it is 2310 meters but right let's go find the start which is down there i need to walk up that way that's gone the wrong way <laughs> and uh, yeah get out there oh, the starts there babe sorry we've just seen joe from cornwall um, she was at Fred's camp with me earlier in the year and she said that the course is all looking nice. Second half is a little bit trickier, but all manageable, doable. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, have a walk around this, then we'll head to the show jumping and see whether I can walk that. Hopefully I'm early enough. Here we have the professional striding out some coaches probably off jump and very much on next sort of leg on looking forward over the corner off we go down the hill how many ten <laughs> how many strides is that Tries, that's what I mean. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were counting. But I think that's just that you've got to come around on a nice curve, just keep your rhythm. Don't change it. Hey? And... Eh? I just David Attenborough the hell out of you, leave <laughs> <Did> you... <laughs> What, like my gardening and my dressing gown the other day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's a little bit more professional though. Oh, okay, alright. We just watched that combination go through and the last stride. It was 10 strides, but it was short, wasn't it? So I think. When you're in your more con uh, cross country going, I reckon that's going to be nine strides, yeah, which is what happened with the combination a couple of weeks ago. I counted six and I actually did five, so. Definitely nine. Yeah, I'm going for nine, but more importantly, just, well, it depends how tight you make your curve, really. Right. But yeah. I'm just going to keep a nice rhythm. But they seem to be flying through, and everything I've seen so far is positive. People have ridden through the water really well, because I can't lie, when you first come through that gap, it looks like a massive jump just before the water but it's actually not once you get up to it so it's just keep the power behind but yeah otherwise everything else is looking all right i think i hope i cross i pray everything <laughs> such a positive mental action <laughs> admiring my table of packs. I think that's actually one of the best ones I've ever done. And I don't often say that. Ready to rock and roll. Are we? It is dressage o'clock. Want to be on in five minutes. Dressage is literally just down there. So we haven't got a very long to walk over there, which is nice. Not like usual. But we do have later on a long walk for the show jumping and for the cross country. And it is very quick concession of my times but she's had her vetro calm I went to give her with the syringe again it still wasn't keen on that so I thought instead of causing an argument because she has been nice chilled and relaxed here and I was like oh does she actually need it and I was like don't let her fool you into not giving it to her so I've given her that in some chaff she's had that about about 25 minutes ago yeah, something like that, and it's instant activation. It will start in 30 minutes. So just in time for when I am getting on and heading down to dress. But she is proper chill here at the moment, so fingers crossed it remains that way. I'm going to swing my legs out because somebody made me go for a run yesterday and I'm feeling a little bit tight. Um, and then it will just be a case of bridal jacket, gloves, and go. So I wish us luck. You don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy Trust the right, I don't have to be scared 
I was really pleased with how Addie warmed up. She was lovely and relaxed in and around the other horses. She did tense up a little bit when we first went into this part of the field and was trotting around the arena, but we had enough time to do a full lap of the whiteboards, which gave me time to get her back listening to me and for her to relax. So the test that we are riding is B90 dressage test 96. And as you see there, we entered in on the left rein, changed my diagonal and then turned right at C and the judge scored us a seven saying fairly straight. Now this trot work around here, I can remember thinking and feeling like, oh, this feels nice. She was in a lovely rhythm, listening to my seat, my rising, and she was consistent in the context. So we scored a 7.5 before coming on to a serpentine. Now this is where we do struggle a little bit. I have to really make sure that I prepare her in enough time for each change of bend. And the judge just said there, outline varying, and that is just her getting used to changing the bend across the center line. But we still scored a seven. And then our canter transition going right, which is often the canter that we struggle with most, but was good. And we scored another seven for that. Did a 20 meter circle. I really am pleased with this rhythm. Her outline is staying consistent. She's not going behind the vertical. Um, and we scored another seven. Then back into working trot, lost some balance but we were on the marker, so we scored another seven, and then K, medium walk, and then it's straight into a free walk on a long rein. Now this is usually where Addie does get her better marks, but actually she didn't stretch down as much as I know she can, maybe a little bit distracted by other things going on, but she was nice over tracking and swinging, so we scored a 6.5, it could show more stretch, and then it's a quick gather of the reins and pick up working trot, which sometimes again, if I don't prepare enough, can cause Addie to really sort of throw her head up in the air, but she didn't, but it was still not exactly how it needed to be. So we scored a 6.5. Then on to another Serpentine. And actually I think this was better than the first one. And we scored another seven with no comment from the judge. And then picking up Canter in this next corner which actually I think our right hand to transition was better than that one. But anyhow, we scored another seven for that. And again, on to a 20 meter circle. Her canter has got so much stronger. She's really actually able to hold herself in the canter now. Oh, no, maybe not quite there. That's me because we weren't turning enough with our outside shoulder. And then that led on to being late back to trot. So we scored a six for that one. Then change of the rain and she just got a little bit the tension came in I couldn't yeah I was trying to just get her to listen to my rising but as you can see that really affected our rhythm then and almost possibly made it worse so that wasn't great another six coming above the bit then turning onto the center line which started well but just before the halt she swings her quarters a bit to the right so we scored a 6.5 and it was a bit of a sudden halt but square but just a little bit wide behind for another 6.5 Okay, I'm definitely smiling a lot more than I was after the test last week. That was just so much more rideable and she settled into it, don't get me wrong, it wasn't absolutely perfect. There were things that still desperately need work on, like our halt went into a bit of a camel there, but she did stand square. But no, there were really nice parts, her transitions on the whole were good, downwards from canter to trot, a little bit hurried, but she regained herself very quickly and that was something that I was working on my lesson on Friday. And if you'd seen how they were starting on Friday to what she just did in there, I'm, yeah, over the moon. But it's a very quick turnaround. Dressage was 11.33, 11.32, and show jumping is 12.10. So, like I say, quick turnaround. Addy is all good to go. Jump saddle on, jump boots on. And now the hike over to the show jumping. If you've seen my vlog from Howick, only a couple of weeks prior to this, you will know how pleased I was that she went in around the arena, she circled and came to fence number one with no problems. We got a little bit close there on fence two, which then ended up us landing on the incorrect lead. So just a quick change there before coming to fence three for our first related distance, which she covered really, really nicely. And then as Cameron had told me, go nice and wide for this double, which we did. She did go to fight with me a little bit, but she then, she got over it quite quickly, which allowed us then to get two nice strides through the double. And then turning here for this one, which again, we got another really nice stride. And then 
here we're turning away and I had it in my head. I was like, just ride positively. And as you can see, there was no question that she wasn't going to go that direction. She was actually quite keen for that second part for number eight. And then this corner, I was like, just ride no differently. We've only got one left. Please, let's just get over that clear, which we did. And big, big pats. Yeah, really, really chuffed with that round. Jumping there for Emily and Silver Linings Aphrodite. Smashed it. They were still ugly bits, but we got it done. I thought no you. Nothing, no nothing. She got on with it though. When you came around for that green, I was like, oh god, set yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but she jumped in nicely and then. Yeah, recovered well. Recovered. I couldn't help myself but put in those little snippets that I had, but we're now on to the McDaddy of cross country videos. So a huge thank you to Ekaril for sending me my video. As I've said numerous times, it's such a great learning tool and it, like helps you to analyze and learn from it. So here you'll see over fence one, we just had a little bit of a, a slow jump, not very forward. So after I landed after that fence, I really kicked on and got Addy into the mindset of, come on, it's cross country, which in return gave us a much more flowing, confident and forward jump over fence two, before then gaining that energy up in a back end to make her sit up and wait for fence three, which she jumped really, really nicely. Now this is what I do love, that Ekaril set up these cameras within the woods, the little scenic scenery. Um, that there are no fences in there, but we come out here, which I then gathered her up again to get a nice punchy canter to go up this step. I also put my whip into the left hand just because I was conscious in case she spooked at any of the elements that were in the other classes, but she didn't, she flew up it. And now coming down this rather steep hill and Addy launching off the step, I was trying to get her to steady up a little bit more, but she was like, it's okay, mum, I've got this, I'm going, it's all good. Now here I felt like we could have perhaps had a little bit of a better turn, but we did have enough straight strides to still have a nice jump. I was also conscious that that jump had been positioned under a tree, so it just needed to give her eyesight a chance to adjust from light to dark, and then obviously quickly from dark to light because we had fence seven soon after, which we got a little bit close, but still a nice jump. Now this is exactly how I walked it through all those fences and got a nice straight line to fence eight, which was a little bit of a skinnier log. Then the course builder, again, just putting in this jump underneath the trees, so just got to be conscious of the horse's eyes adjusting, but Addy clocked it, she saw it, she jumped it really, really nicely. Now, no fences here before we come through to jump the hay cart, but you'll probably see in this next clip, just there, that there was two fences in other classes, so I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't spooky at them. Now, this hay cart was probably the largest jump on course, but she absolutely flew it really, really nicely before tackling the one, not for Addy, but for me, I was probably the most worried of, and there is the reason why, and I really, I know I need to get that out of my head. Now, I didn't ride a very good line to this. You can see here, I should be on that gravel where Addy goes, I need to be there, mum, but I'm gonna jump it. So dear of her, she was really honest with me there and confident to go over the ditch. Didn't affect her, because she then flew over that roll top as well before coming up quite a steep hill for 
the fence before the water and because we had the energy behind us that allowed us to get over that fence when we got a little bit close um, we had the energy punching behind so that helped us there so good gal Addy for still getting over it then over the crocodile which is I think a little bit of a peculiar fence but she jumped it now the one that you saw me walking and we did it on nine strides I should have perhaps gone a little bit further out on my curve because we did get very close to this corner but again Addy was very quick and good with her legs now coming to the final three fences after another little spot of canter through the woods so this one we got a nice jump and then we're going on to a combination but I was this point thinking we are bang on the time so it didn't need to be rushing her didn't need to be yeah kicking on or anything like that I just wanted to stay in a nice rhythm that we had had the whole way round but Addy quickened up here I don't know whether because she thought we are coming to the end I was asking her to come back to me which meant we didn't get the best of jumps over part A but we regained it very quickly and got over part B nicely then coming to the last again I'm just making sure I'm sat up because it is downhill but we flew over the last and again here like you do in all your equal videos you get fences from all different angles with multiple cameras lots of big pats and I think I go just out of shot as I fist pump the air because I was so happy but yeah huge thank you to Ecrareal for sending me across my video now I'm gonna say with the stanking around that she's done somebody's happy <laughs> we got a fist pump clear it. I did come back and I said, please do not tell me you've heard over the channel I missed a jump out or something stupid. I was listening intently. Yeah. And every time he kept saying clear at the end, so I was like, yeah, ah, it's all good. good. <laughs> she was awesome. A couple of, um, like, risky close ones, like that Getting last close double. To it, yeah. <laughs> um, and also the one before the corner. Right. She went to run with me and I was like, ah! And I knew it was, but she was quick for me, so I praised her loads afterwards, but she still went. Nice. But like the ditch, she came in and she was a bit like, oh, and I went, no, we're going. So it was like, it was our partnership building. I love right, it. Right, my dress size then, was it? 32.5. Hey! There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. days later but I'm gonna be honest I actually quite like doing it like this at the moment because it gives me a chance to get home get all the footage off of the camera onto the laptop and watch it back like properly not just on the tiny little screen of the Sony camera and actually watch it all back please excuse me I've just finished riding both the ponies there is oh and there's Sprite I couldn't see Sprite before but there they are they've gone out in a fresh field and just come down to shut the gate but what a great day and I feel like it's as I think I mentioned in my last vlog Chiverton Park I feel like I've been sharing a lot of not downs because it's not all down but just a lot of things that haven't quite gone right or it's been a bit of a mixed bag and I feel like this has come at a very good time because I needed that little bit of a pick me up and Addy certainly did do that dear river so I don't know if I've actually said through the vlog 
but a little roundup of the day. We had a 32.5 dressage, which I think was very fair. I can see where we've lost marks. And I also, you can see the, not as much tension as I have known her to have in the past, don't get me wrong, but she still just has that little bit of tension across her back, as the judge said, and that is something that I am really working on in my lessons. I've been having regular dressage lessons with Vanessa. She has been an amazing help, eyes on the ground, and yeah, trying to get her frame to open up and to relax. And of course, then when you go into a competition atmosphere, that's when all that tension can creep in. But I felt when we first went in for our dressage test and was going around the arena and past the judge, she really did. And I just allowed her just to figure it all out. And thankfully we had a little bit longer than we did at Howick. We didn't have to go straight around and down the center line. But I just felt she came back to me so much quicker, which was, yeah, so much better. You would have heard what my marks was for each movement on obviously my voiceover. So you know all the detailed marking and comments from the judge for that. Then we had an epic clear show jumping. She was good, no nappiness, which that's all I wanted. I mean, we had our first double clear, our first B placing, our first top 10 finish, first rosette. And I am absolutely over the moon, obviously, with all of that. But actually, it was just her rideability throughout the day. She was just so good, dear of her, and keen, knew what we were doing, no nappiness, no silly business. She just was enjoying her job, which I know that she does, and, yeah, made me then enjoy it. Cross Country has been absolutely wonderful to be watching back Thanks to the Epic team at Equireal again for sending me over my video. I love how they've captured even coming through the woods when there wasn't any fences and you had on the way out and the way back and they've even captured that, which I feel like those are the moments that it's just like you and your horse. There's no fences like to think about for a second. You can have a bit of a breather, a reset, gather yourself. And it's just like just you two out there. I don't know, like there is for the whole of cross country, I suppose, but. I don't know, it's just when it's maybe a little bit enclosed like that. Maybe it's just a little bit different. I don't know. But she was, yeah, really good. The four that I was not worried about, wasn't worried, but just cautious off was the step up more because I was worried she was going to spook at something like the novice had a jump beforehand and the hundred had a jump after the step up. So I just didn't want her to lose concentration, but she did come back to me really well. Got up a hunchy canter and up the step she went, which was nice. Oh, hello cow. And then the step down, just because sometimes she can be a little bit babyfied of not knowing where her legs are going, but she has improved massively with that. And yeah, flew off of it. Then the ditch, but that isn't an Addy problem. That's, a, that's an Emily problem. But she went, she was very good, um, just needed to read it. And then she went, and the one before the water, just because of that steep upline. Yes, we didn't get a perfect stride to it, but it wasn't a bad stride. We still had the energy in the canter, which is what got us over it. So yeah, really, really chuffed. And the rest of it, she absolutely flew inside the time. So yeah, to finish on our dressage school, which is amazing. Like I said, it was, I needed this, don't get me wrong, progress is not linear it's not a straight line it is very up and down and i just feel like recently we've been having a lot of the downs but this is now gone soaring up high and i am going to enjoy it and embrace it whilst it's around the horses is back i know i shouldn't say it i really shouldn't say it's bound to go downhill but you know what i mean there's gonna be other issues that we're gonna come across and things like that but like i say for a minute i'm just embracing this positive hi there are more events entered there are more events on the calendar to come and i'm excited to yeah give them a shot keep on with the training i will make a dressage diva out of her yet <laughs> much to probably addy's disgust but i will i'm determined i will um, and not lose those silly marks i hope you guys have enjoyed coming along eventing again with us like i said there is quite a few coming up so if there is something different that you would like to see from these eventing vlogs please do let me know and i will try and change it up i tried to change up the beginning part but it's all very similar every single time obviously it's different venues but i just feel like all the prep that happens at the start of the vlog and probably the end as well is all very similar so if there is something specific that you guys would like to see please do pop a comment down below and let me know and i will do my very best 
of trying to mix it up for you guys. As always, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment, and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. And until next time, I will see you all very, very soon.